Hey guys, quick video today. Uh, sometime last season, after summer, maybe late summer, my uh, car stopped blowing cold air. Now, it was going into fall, so I just let it go. It was stuck on hot, so I don't even know if it was in this area or what, but switched it over here, turned the AC on. Just one time is, is what happened. It just started blowing hot air and it never blew cold. So I went into figuring out what might be the problem. Cause up until that point I had cold AC. So um, what happens on these Nissans, this is a 99 Nissan Maxima. From what I've gathered is the actuator that connects to this right here, that burns out. So down here, and I'll show you in a minute, when you, turn this there's a little actuator down there like a switch that rotates and then that opens and closes your blend door so i guess they call it the blend door actuator and uh i've seen multiple places where that goes bad so uh what i did was and it's hard to get in and out you have to remove some stuff and it's kind of a pain in the butt now we might need a light on this situation down here well, maybe not so you see how hard it is to get in here. So if you're looking, where are you looking? All right, back there you can see the lever. Right, I'll put a arrow to it. Right there's my lever and then the actuator just sits below it. So uh, when it ends up happening, the actuator stops working and then the lever can't turn. So mine was stuck in the hot position and uh, obviously driving in the summer in the heat, that is no good. So. What I did is I just reached in there with a long screwdriver, like so, like this. And uh, rather than remove it and fish it out and put a new one in and all that, I think they cost like 300 bucks. Um, I just went in and broke off the tab on the bottom portion of the activator, actuator, so that my blend door can now move freely. So uh, first trip out, it definitely works and uh, we're free to go. Now, the problem is when I hit 40 miles per hour, the air from outside actually pushes the blend door to the hot position. So then we're out of luck. Um, right now you can see, I'm not sure which one it's in. There, there's the, action, the, the blend door and I forget, I think it needs to be in this position right here to be cold. So I'm gonna have to secure that into position with some generic duct tape which I have on hand and uh, hopefully that keeps it in the cold position and uh, we can be happy so I do have AC it's awesome it's cold and uh, I'm happy with uh, my repair or uh, my brake whatever you want to call it but uh, I can move that manually now and it's not stuck in the hot position so that's all I have for today just want to tell you about my AC and my blend door actuator that failed and uh, here's our generic, sorry, here's our generic duct tape that I'm gonna try to keep that where it needs to be. So I think what I'm gonna do is attach, there's a little hole in the, in the blend door lever there. I think I'm gonna attach like a, a wire or something to it so I can move it around when I want to. But for now, I'll just keep it cold so, uh, cause it's 100 degrees out. So, yep. Have a good one. I'll catch you on the next one. Guys, it totally works. AC is pumping cold. That tape I have on that lower handle. And uh, we've been doing 50s, 60s. So I have AC again and I didn't have to replace a part. All I had to break, break was a little piece off of the actuator. So now it works back in the AC. And when it gets hot, I'll just turn it to hot. And it can stay hot or when it gets cold I'll turn it to hot and then it can stay hot keep me toasty warm catch you later